Welcome back guys to another episode. On this episode I'm going to show you the solar setup on the boat and get it working. Just got a solar panel on the roof, just a nice small little one that sits up here. It's got wing nuts on it because I used to have a boat cover, so I used to take the solar panel off and put it on top of the boat cover, but now I don't have that and it's just got its connectors that goes into these extending cables on both sides and then they go down. They come down in here and they go down through this pole they come out under there and they just run up under and then back down to this charger which positive because it goes through those extension cables it actually swaps color so the positive is the black and the negative is the red and then it goes to the solar controller which as you can see doesn't work I actually got a new one here same thing just has been out in the rain I also think I know why it stopped working, because if we look up here, that is a, uh, a rod holder, and it's kind of been sitting under that, and it's it's not really like out of the rain, if it does rain. Anyway, so it goes into that, then comes out these two, which the negative just goes down to the batteries, and it shares a common negative down there. So after the charger, it goes into this switch where it can be either go to one battery, two batteries, or both at the same time. And the only reason that needs to be there is because if you're in battery one on this, and you had these two going to both batteries and straight to the charger, well, they would all be connected. So you'd also have to put this to one to only have one getting the power. And obviously, if you have it on all, you can put this on both. And if you go two, you have to put this one on two. And if this one is off, this one can still be on two and it works because this goes directly to battery. It doesn't actually go through this main isolation switch. If you can see that back there, that blue box, that is what the alternator goes to at the top. And then it splits it out to the left battery and the right battery. Well, one battery, one battery, two. So that's how it does it. So I guess I could have just hooked it up to that and it would have gone to both batteries and I wouldn't have to worry about the second switch but at least this way I could turn the switch off if I want to and turn the solar off don't know why I would but hey you never know and from that switch they just come it down and it goes to this battery and then the other battery that is in here wherever that cable is that one so let's change this guy out and see if it works all right so we just need to take these all out So just turn the switch on and there you go you can see it's charging the battery is currently at 13.2 and this flashing means it's actually charging into the battery right now and you can put a load out onto these two and then it would obviously show if load was going out but it's just going down to the battery and then the battery uh, from the battery it's coming up to this main switch which is off so there's actually no load coming out and so after it goes through this switch so that's where all the main power goes except for the starter motor which that actually goes directly from the back of this uh, switch to the starter motor and there's also a few things that actually bypass one of these bilge pumps goes directly off power so it can always be running if it starts to flood and then the cables just run everywhere and so there's one nice new one that goes up the front. So the positive wire comes up through here, goes into this fuse box, and negative goes out the bottom, back to the battery. So this is all the negatives and then all the positives for everything. And they just all come up here to this switch panel that I put in. So you got, you know, cigarette, USB, lighter. It tells you how many volts, which I can't actually tell. And then all the switches that turn on when you uh, do things. But none of them really work right now. The motor's not in. And up here's the key. You just have the on position and then run. And then also got a Garmin fish finder and just a cup holder that's kind of sitting there. This, there used to be a really old switch panel here that took up this whole room, uh, but half of them didn't work and the fuses were just destroyed. So I got rid of that. So that's the solar system on the boat. Now it all works. So so hope that battery stays good while the motor gets done. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.